Chapa chapao, chapa chapao, chapa chapao. Predators. Predators. Hey. So, uh, you're playing a sport. Maybe it's hockey. Maybe it's soccer. Maybe it's football. Maybe I don't know where it is. You're playing. You're having fun. Things get heated pretty quick. Mm-hmm. One thing leads to another. Next thing you know, you got a guy in your face. You got some there. Smell of the glove, folks. Mm-hmm. Hockey glove. Smell the glove right here. Rub it right in your face. He's got his eyes right on you. You can do that. You're going to do that. You're going to do it again. Huh? Huh? You can do that. The biggest, most painful thing that you will sure? make you, you sure fight is huh? hockey glove in your nose. Hmm. Because your nose is very sensitive. Like you push on that thing, it hurts. And on top of that, that hockey glove stinks unlike anything else. Hmm. I'm going to try to trip you up a little slew foot, get you off balance. Oh, no, this is the one, though. If you push this in someone's face, give them one of these, a little, a little wash. White wash, a little wash with the glove. Mm-hmm. It's painful, more painful than you think, and it stinks so bad. Worst in the and world. And it's so glove. disrespectful that someone's yeah. rubbing their, their hand right in your face. Yeah. Nothing will make you want to punch another human being faster than that right there. And therein lies the predator. The old I want to fight. Uh-huh. You're going to run into him in every sport. I want to fight. Hey, fight me. You, fight me. And if you go to fight him, guess what? You know, fight him. <laughs> Apparently, you got kicked out of the game. You got thrown out of your son's softball match. You, the, the all women's volleyball meet, you just got kicked out and the police were called. Like, that's what's going to happen to you. The guy who says he wants to fight. What do they call that? The Matthew Barnaby? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Matthew Barnaby. Yeah, yeah, Ty Domi. Yeah. I think Ty Domi actually Ty wants Ty to Domi fight. Ty Domi could fight. Yeah, yeah. Fight with him. Ty Domi would fight someone. In fact, which one of them fought the fan? Was it Ty Domi? Yeah, it was. In the penalty box. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that, that fan was uh, reaching over, swearing at Ty, and yeah, Ty squirted him with someone's water bottle. So he swung at him, and he fell in the penalty box, and they started swinging at each other for so a hot fighting, yeah. Two seconds. He could have killed yeah, that yeah, guy. He would have killed him. But uh, what's that called? Instigator. Yeah, the instigator. The sports instigator. I think that's what this one's about. Yeah. So what's the situation there? How do you get involved with an instigator? You could just be good. Like an instigator is going to go after the best player on the other team. Or you're just going to go after anyone who's a weakness. Or just friggin' who he's lined up against. A little altercation? Oh, fracas? A melee? (laughs) A pure sixer? Oh, uh, a Donnie Brook, a dust up. Have you gotten any good cheap shots on you that you're like, what is this? Oh my God, I love cheap shots. <laughs> I've given thing in the world. I've given a few, but I've received more. Let's talk about the cheap shots that start the sort of thing. You do like it's a little like, slew um, foot. You try yeah, to like a stick in the back of the leg. Mean, slew foot's actually pretty far off the list on oh. what you're doing to someone. It usually starts with something simpler, like a stick. Just either between the legs nice. or at the skate. A little, one of those mini slashes. Yeah. One of the ones where you don't little do taps. a two-hander, but you have a little, come on, dude. Get the fuck. A little get the fuck. tiny wax. Yeah. Or like you skate away from a dude and you feel him stick right between oh, your yeah. armpits. Try to slow you down. Yeah. He, pulls he, it he out. Pulls on you. He pulls on you. You get that little the... scar there. Yeah. Did you just. And then you have to you have to take a number, it's called. Uh-huh. In this business. That's what happens. Okay. 41, huh? 40 fucking one, huh? But you're too busy. You're part of the play. You got yeah. the puck. I can't stop right now. I will see 41 in the next five minutes. I will see him. I will look for him. Yeah. I will I will throw the puck behind him. Oh, no, I lost it. You little piece of shit. And then you take him and you just grind him into the board. Yeah, you and rub him out. Like an, it's not an egregious hit where, like, you're going for the it's head just, or you're smashing him. Soft one, but a but nice rub. Strong. He knows. Sor- and he, authoritative and he knows who you he knows who you are. Sort of. He remembers he got the uh, stick in the armpit. He remembers that was you. Mm-hmm. And now you're coming for revenge against him, huh? No. Oh. Oh, oh, I didn't see you there. Oh, right. No, oh. sorry there. Well, now I remember this number. Well, remember this, pal. <laughs> and there's like a little escalation where it's uh-huh. kind of like a semi elbow. And you're like, God damn it, this is men's league. <laughs> I'm not even playing for money. We're, we're paying to play here, and you're hitting me? So you give him one of these back, maybe a little between the legs. Mm. Sorry. Say something, too, when you're walking by. Sorry, 21, 42. What the fucking number is? <laughs> Hit him in the back of the leg. Give him something. You have to, mm, mm. Nice beard. Hit puberty yet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Or did it wear off when you're between your mom's legs? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, That's hockey you know talk. Do you know what I said to a guy one time well, who I, I never met? I was like, I'm going to eat your fucking babies. <laughs> like, hey, I, I, was, I had a few drinks in me that game. And he was like a 35-year-old man. That's the only reason I said yeah, babies. Yeah. I figured he had kids. Yeah. This guy has kids. If I threaten his kids, I'm not going to name the names because that's weird. I'm going to eat fucking babies. He was like <laughs> – he just looked at me. He said, what? And then the puck dropped and I just skated by him like at full speed, just like hair on fire. You got to him though. Uh, that's good. That's oh. good stuff. I always get into these like along the boards. Like someone tries like a cheap shot. They hit you in the wrong way and you're like – you But it's like it. it's a gentle cheap shot sort yeah. of but not really. You're it like, could, it could like, hurt you, you but it doesn't. could have avoided it. Yeah. Could have avoided that. Or around the net when they're like you're going after like a puck and they think you're attacking the goalie. Always try to like pull you uh, off, or like you're into the net, or like awkward. Yeah, you get kind of like people grabbing at you. It's not hurt your face. You're like, oh, come on, dude. Yeah. <sighs> so then it becomes a fracas. an escalating level of yeah. Fracas someone's pushing. Like, someone's a little six or a Donny Brook. Have you gotten into full on fights where you're throwing rights and lefts and actually? Yeah. So I think it was lawn quenchers. Hmm. We, um, my buddy Dan, my line mate, he skated past the goalie on a PK, like chasing the puck, penalty like kill, really yeah. hustling, penalty kill. He's chasing the puck, like really chasing. And the goalie came out to play the puck behind the net yeah. and waited till Dan was all the way down. Like he waited till he skated. His goalie heart is somewhat all the way fair down. game in this situation. He is, but Dan wasn't going to hit him. He's yeah, just yeah. like, whatever. So he, and then the, the goalie waited as long as he could and then flung the puck back up. Like, so that Dan just had to skate down the whole way yeah. and then kind of like was in his way. Like, what are you going to do? And anyway, Dan didn't even notice. He was skating his ass off, did his thing. The puck came down again, the same play. Well, the goalie just stopped with the puck and just stood behind the net. And Dan was coming full speed and the whole bench stood up because we saw it. And he trucked the goalie as fast and as hard as he could. <laughs> He went flying. He just trucked them. <laughs> well, immediately, both benches cleared and everyone went out and people started throwing down on people. And I didn't really get into a fist fight, fist fight. Just one of those like it, hockey yeah, fights. Yeah, hockey like, fights, whatever. usually you can't. Hockey fights like a tussle. You can't it's gear like up. It's not like boxing. Some, no, you don't actually throw off your gloves and one-on-one and punch each other in the face over and over. It's usually over in like glove punches and some grabs and some gloves off and maybe a fist or two flying. Mm-hmm. This time, though, they kicked the guy out <clears throat> immediately during that fight. <clears throat> I forget his name, but everyone talks shit on the whole game. Like, this guy's a scumbag. This guy's a piece of trash. This guy's an a-hole. And he got kicked out. And I said, that's the guy. Well, they kicked out one of our guys, and he's leaving the other way. And I see their guy, the guy they just kicked out. He's a big dude. He's like six foot something. Picking on our guy who just got kicked out. He's like five foot. And he comes after him, and he's running on when they're off the ice, oh. like the game's over. And I was like, this is and towards the locker rooms. Yeah. And everyone's yeah. And everyone was over here still sorting out the gloves and the sticks and everything. Well, I'm like the only one. And I looked and he's coming over here and he's chasing my five foot seven player who at the time, for some reason had his skates off. I don't know if he came out cause he took his skates off. Uh-huh. And I'm like, he's going to step on his feet. He's going to kill this kid. Yeah. So I jumped over and just started wailing on a guy I'd never met before. Who everyone said was a piece <laughs> yeah. of shit. And literally, this is where I said, you piece of shit. You fucking piece of shit. And I'm <laughs> swinging. And I hit this guy. And he swung on me. And then the benches boom, that had left yeah. the benches to go on the ice had to come back onto the bench and then leave to get off the ice and separate everyone. And I was like, oh, my God. And they separated everyone. And everyone was fine. But, oh, my God. I can't it's wait to punch someone. It's a justice there. There's also a sign of a good team. It's like some teams are not going to back each other up. <clears throat> Other times you hear, you see somebody get hurt in a way that should not have happened. It's instant. Like your entire team mm. goes after that one guy. And that one guy will be like, what? And like as like, soon as like three guys jump him, then it's like a brawl. Those are the best. Those feel so, so good. It's so weird though because what we're talking about is like if it happened to your teammate, you hate it. When you do it, you love you're it. a predator, it's Nick. Like, <laughs> I am a predator. I think I am an instigator. It turns out. Yeah, I like starting fights. <sighs> oh, I instigated one time on a guy who was like semi-pro, 
it was like my second game ever. I just learned to ice skate, and this is my second men's league game. And my hands were tied because someone was holding me from behind. Yeah, and there's someone's always kind of like getting you off center. Yeah. And I didn't know what to do. So I said, like, F your mother or something. Whatever I said. I just do the same words. Mm-hmm. And I didn't have my fist. So I did a fake spit. Like, <sighs> I didn't really spit at him, but I wanted him to know that I wanted to. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was it. so weird because he had his gloves on. Like, and he was looking at me like mad. And immediately in one motion, his gloves were off. And he grabbed me with one hand and just punched me in the face. <laughs> and I was like, whoa. And then he hit me again and I was falling backwards. And my buddy Dan, who we were talking about, jumped on his back like to stop him uh-huh. from just – he would have killed me, this guy. Yeah, yeah. He was like a semi-pro player. I didn't know this. He he felt someone on his back and it was – Dan, he's scrawny. He's a, he's, a, he's a pain in the ass. He flipped him onto the ground and started punching Dan. And, and and I was all the way back here, like away from it all. And then you know the bench is emptied, and we had one of these other instances. But it occurs to me that I am the predator in the situation, <laughs> yeah. and the only way to avoid me is to be very good at your sport, be better than you, be able to get away from you. No, no not too good. No, not too good. By scoring. I will, get, I will get so mad if you run up the score. <laughs> if, if someone. Someone was running up the score on us, and like I, I said to Dan, my line mate, I said, if this guy scores one more hot dog goal between his legs when they're up five, we're gonna cross check him in the throat. Guess what happened? <laughs> he went between the legs and scored, and Dan cross checked him in the throat. And got out of the game. And I was like, Man, I was kidding, but at the same time, I didn't feel bad. Like, no, you don't do that. Yeah, there's certain unwritten rules. Like, and he, rules. I'm glad Dan got kicked out because he shouldn't have done that. But I'm glad that guy got cross checked. So he front. knows like, not to f around. Yeah, like if you're if you can do that to score two goals ahead, God bless you. If you're already up five and you do it, mm-hmm. so talk about when you're fighting. Like you're you're re- essentially going to wrestle because that's the only thing you can do because you're going to get each other off balance. You're, you're going to fall, you hit the ice. Dude. I've always fought with people that like keep trying to fight when they're on the ice. Like they try to like choke Ooh. you, but you're wearing helmets. So that doesn't work. So you're just like I'm really mad. I'm honestly, really mad. the only thing I'm trying to do when I'm on the ice and someone's like fighting me is not have my like hands out or my fingers out or like mm. any part of you get stepped on. That is a crucial thing because people have gotten stepped on and it f's you up with the yeah, dude, skate. That's a blade. Yeah. So when I get on the ice, I just kind of like like. Brace myself and make sure that I don't like f- get throw, flipped throw around. The, uh, throw these things, the extremities. Yeah. So that always like pisses the other person off because they want to keep fighting or whatever the hell you're doing on the ice. And then they always like, they're chirping. They keep talking and talking and talking. You're just like, what are you talking about? You can't do jack shit. You're like, you're just laughing at them. Yeah. You stand up, everyone. Come on, stand up. Worse. Dude, I saw my dad play softball and softball, adult league slow pitch softball. Guys were grabbing each other and gripping each other up and throwing each other against the fence and the whole team cleared out. And some of the shit they were saying, I was like, wow. So it just happens in sports in general. I mean, especially hockey. Yeah. But Testosterone. It's like the heat of the moment. But do you know what's also funny? I, I just mentioned like two or three times where I was totally out of line and totally just going to town. I'm a wild thing. There are times where a fight breaks out and like a certain friend of ours named Parker, we'll say, oh. ran his mouth and deserved it. Yeah. And like I'm, I'm lining up with a guy who I don't know. I've never met this guy. He's 35. He's a little taller than me. Uh, I saw him skate by me like eight times. Like he's like he's a better passer. He's not that fast. I don't know. Like these are the things I take about him. But I don't know yeah. the guy. And I grab him. And he grabs me. And neither of us want to fight. And we're looking You're over. And I'm pulling like, each oh. other apart away from the main fight. But, not even like hard. I'm just like looking at him. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. And he's like, typical Wednesday. And I'm like, I like you. You're funny. And then like we're friends, but I'm still holding them. Like I'm going to punch him, but not really. So like it's either one extreme or the other. Like it's so weird, that dynamic where it's either yeah, you're I'm in a, it's binary. punch a stranger in the face or I'm going to be like polar Wednesday. Yeah. Am I right, pal? We're both here, right? It's just, it's weird. I kind of like that. I miss it. I haven't played hockey in five, six years. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's good. I had one of those a couple weeks back. Fuck you. Did you? Yeah, Yeah, a little fracas, a little Uh dust up. A couple idiots started a fight. 
and I had to save somebody. So I had to dive in and pull somebody off and then fight them. I was like, Did I you? hate this, my teammate, because he's an idiot. And yeah, I had I fought that guy. And then I almost got five games suspension. Now, what was that? How was that fight? Oh, it was, uh, you got that. that's a real fight because they'll suspend you. If it's yeah, a real fight. fight. It was uh, two brothers. One brother, last like minute of the game, he rubbed some guy out against the boards, got a penalty. And then as he was going to the penalty box with the other team's guy who he rubbed out because they got a little bit yeah, of yeah. a fight, his brother jumps off the bench and then checks the guy when he's going to the penalty box. Oh. So it was like – On the way to the box? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. That, yeah. You know what? That's something my old team yeah. would have done. But God, oh, God, I, I mean, no, 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 Idiot. No. But yeah, I was like, I don't like that kid anyway, but there were two guys fighting him. So like one guy can get him in a prone position and the other guy can just wail on him, which is in my moral – my moral being cannot allow that to happen. So I had it's to jive, too much. It's one. It's not- jump and dive in there and grab him. And I pulled the guy off, got him in a headlock. He spun around, and then we kind of like tussled. I don't think we actually – I think we actually threw – I think he threw a couple punches, but they didn't love land. Punch, love punch. Yeah. They're like love over punch. the top because yeah, yeah, we're still punch. like yeah, 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 wrestling. Yeah. And we – Yeah, you're reaching for helmets. You're moving on ice. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I flipped him over onto the ice, and then he got me in a headlock. And then we just kind of like Ooh. tussled on the ground for a bit. And then once it – was over he was still super pissed off and yelling at me and trying to get me to come on man you want to fight you want to fight it's like you had uh, your yeah, shot man the parking lot yeah there I'm was the one laughing up. like you gotta be kidding me I have to and that's the thing with these people they have narcissistic personality disorder a yeah. lot of them npd that's what i feel like npd the um the best thing to do is probably avoid these but maybe then you're not living keep your wits about you yeah. No, 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 no. And maybe fight don't. them, but make He's sure you're first in all. level-headed. Get some skills oh, to prepare yourself for the sense. fight. Well, and when in doubt, definitely pull out. Like, yeah. if you don't know, you think you're going to get hurt, something's wrong, pull out. Okay? When in doubt, pull out. Okay? <laughs> or you can um, spray and pray. It's up to you. <laughs> pump, pump and hump. Wait, someone we went to high school with? Bump, this is a real story. Pump and dump. Someone we went to high school with who played ice hockey for the men's league B team or C team. We'll call him Martin G. Hmm. He he got into a fight with a kid and uh, he he just rolled over on him so that they were both on the ice and he started humping him and making because uh, <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. uh, that's the sound he would make all the time and I think that's a way that's the, a way funnier result than uh, even fighting de-escalate the situation yeah everyone was cracking up pretty good actually it might escalate it further I'm pretty sure I that gets it, pretty bad yeah pretty bad <laughs> anyway folks avoid confrontation but if you have to in sports Sports only. I'm not telling you to fight your coworkers because it's illegal and you will be suspended for more than five minutes. Yeah, probably. But if you're in your sport, especially hockey, maybe take a swing at a guy. Maybe tell him you're going to eat his babies. <laughs> That's on you. When you hair. feel comfortable. <laughs> Make fun of his facial hair and his mother's pubes in the same sentence. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we're the predators today. <laughs> maybe that's what just happened. But um, anyway... Be careful out there. Be safe. And uh, da, 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 da. predators. Predators. <laughs>